Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. Today is Tuesday, um, the 3rd. The Day 3 of Vlogmas would be the 3rd, December 3rd. So, uh, right now, I'm waiting for my son to get ready for school. Um, he's ready, but he's in there trying to print out papers for his college work last minute. Go figure. So, I'm outside waiting. I don't need to preheat the car today because it's actually kind of warm. And when I say warm, you know, not freezing. So, look at these beautiful skies. I don't know if you see it. It's a little bit cloudy, but nice blue skies in there, which always makes me happy. So the plan for today, let's see, I got up at 6 this morning. And, uh, no, actually, I got up at 5 this morning, but I didn't get out of bed till about 6. And um, my oldest, or not my oldest, my second son, Joey, is not feeling good today, so he's going to miss school, which is unfortunate. I hate when the kids have to miss school. But I got Brandon up and going, so he's out to school. I'm going to take Michael James to college here. Um, I think he packed himself a really good lunch. I think he packed himself some Penang curry for lunch, so he's going to have a good day. And uh, then I got to head out to go to the Dollar Tree and get some stuff. I'll see if I bring you along. And uh, uh, the mo most important thing today is I need to get Christmas cards. Because for social media, know that I have my own group on Facebook called Making It Work with Linda. And our group is doing a Christmas card exchange and I'm pretty excited about it because uh, we're all really close and I mean seriously we're like brothers and sisters in that group and it brings me a joy every day to be able to interact with everyone on that page so that is goal number one and then I'm hoping to bring it back because I got a package in the mail from Josh in the city stead and I have some questions about it so I might bring it back and show you what I got from Josh and uh, ask, you, ask you guys questions to see if things are a little too late in the season and what I can do with what I received. All right, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, this is my son, Michael. I'm headed out to the college. Taking him. What'd you make for lunch, Michael? Curry. Curry. Penang Thai curry. It's so good. You can tell that he's thrilled that I'm filming him. Huh? Well... It's my duty as a mom to torment my children every once in a while. He's like, let's just go, Mom. I want to be late. All right, guys. So I just got done with the Dollar Tree. And no, I didn't take you in with me because I am so nervous to record in public. I know I can't do it. I can't even record around my family. So speaking of my parents, they got their trip got delayed for another month. So they will be leaving in January, which means that, yes... We got to hold off another month before I could really, really focus on my YouTube and my videos and try to make them better because I want to be able to enjoy the time I have with them right now. My kids are super stoked. That means I get one more Christmas with my parents before they go overseas. So with that being said, I need to get food. Did you guys watch my vlog yesterday? I was so super sick yesterday that I didn't eat dinner, so my stomach is like growling. So I want to go find somewhere to eat real fast before I have to head back home and start picking up kids all over again. All right, so um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll see you soon. Down to Sonics. I have never been to a Sonics before. This has been here for about a year or so, maybe longer, and I've never eaten here. So I got myself a cheeseburger and fries and an iced tea. What a better meal to try out for the first time. So, um, hopefully it's good. And I got whatever it's, their uh, signature sauce is, whatever that is. I want to say she said it was like barbecue sauce and honey mustard mixed together. Which seems like an odd combination. But I'm going to give it a shot anyway. So, there was something I want to talk to you about today. My glasses are glaring. But, um, I will do that here shortly was super fast. They came right over with my meal, so I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but we might be doing a little mukbang here. I know. <laughs> you guys probably don't watch mukbangs since you guys are mainly homesteaders, although I do know there's others of you out there. Oh, they have the good eyes. You know what I'm talking about? The really small eyes? Oh, that's sweet tea. Oh, us northerners aren't used to that sweet tea. But I'll get used to it. Wow, that's sweet. But it's good. I usually drink plain tea, but it is what it is. 
I thought I'd be adventurous today. So I just got a cheeseburger and french fries. Which I'm trying to get all situated. Oh, it comes with a mint. Maybe they're trying to tell me something. And I got their signature sauce. Don't know if it's any good. I don't know if any of this is good. Fries are good. Mmm, salty. And then I just got their cheeseburger, which is a good size. It's a pretty big cheeseburger. So I'm going to go ahead and eat some of this. Mmm. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Probably really odd watching someone eat. But it's a YouTube thing. I promise. I love mukbangers. Why I didn't eat last night, and I'm a little scared to eat right now, but my stomach is growling, so um, hopefully, fingers crossed, I won't get sick after I eat this. That's the goal. Tea's good, though. Okay, I'm going to try that weird sauce. It looks weird. It's like this orange... It is odd. I'm not sure what I think about that. Okay, feeling better now. Got a little something in my system. Okay, so I just wanted to take a minute to talk to you about something before I end this video for the day. I'm on a lot of homesteading YouTuber Facebook groups. A lot of them. And there's a concern. And it's not a big concern. But I thought it's worth noting. Sometimes really young YouTubers will post either a comment or a question or they'll post an idea they have for a collaboration or something like that. Something that is highly encouraged in those groups. And um, sometimes what happens is these bigger YouTubers, they leave a negative comment. It happened one too many times. And what happens is it snowballs. One big YouTuber goes and posts something kind of rude. I'll just come out and say it. Very rude. To the original poster. And then everyone wants to be on that person's good side, so we'll comment other discouraging stuff to the very young YouTuber that is just starting out, <clears throat> that is just learning. Now, that doesn't happen all the time, and there are big channels that will post encouraging messages and, and or helpful advice or give them different uh, viewpoints of things to look at and, you know, why this may or may not be a good idea and give them both sides. But I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about the big channels that just are just plain out rude people. And that's how they are being perceived on these Facebook pages. And it hurts my soul because they're influencers. Things they say affect everyone around them. Okay. So when I was talking about the snowball effect, well, this one big YouTuber said something rude, which led all these other YouTubers that want to be on this influencer's good side and, and want to be able to work with them in the future and do all this stuff, re continue on with the negative. And the poor person that posted the original comment is just emotionally beaten up. In fact, the last time I saw it, the person just deleted her whole thing. 
So I just want to, um, fortunately, I don't know any of these people personally, so I can't call out anyone because I have no clue who they are. I just know their names and, um, and I know that they are bigger YouTubers. <sighs> so I just want to try to encourage you guys when you're in a situation like that, especially when you're dealing with other creators, <clears throat> especially this time of year with the holidays, people have a hard time during the holidays just to try to be encouraging. If it's an idea that the person has that's really bad, tell them, but tell them in a nice way. Private message them. Take an interest in that person as a person and not just as a target for you and your buddies to laugh at and make fun of. That's not cool. That's not cool. And I don't care how many followers you have, how big your channel is. I don't care how sweet you seem on video, but we're seeing the real you. And it's nasty and it's ugly and I don't like it. So if I can encourage you all just to be a little more positive, talking to just people that are watching, just be a little more po positive to the young channels that are just starting out, you know, and I've lost a lot of viewers because of circumstances in my life and my channel is not what it used to be at one point and I'm going to work on that and I know where I fail and I'm trying to learn and trying to get better and there's been lots of amazing channels out there that have been a lot bigger than me that are very supportive of me and help me and lend me a listening ear and you know, help guide me along. Those people are amazing. And to everyone, you know, that's what I do. My whole page is encouraging everyone, regardless of the size of channel you have. You can be small, you can be medium, you can be huge. But just, it just bothers me when I see someone who they know they have a huge influence, a huge influence in our niche being downright rude to smaller channels. It's just not called for. Here's the thing. You don't like something someone posted? Scroll on by. Scroll on by. It's as easy as that. As that. Or if you're really concerned that it's a bad idea, say it nicely. It takes, you know, a few minutes just to sit down and think about how you're going to phrase something so you don't come off looking like a jerk. And hurting people's feelings, you know? And I've been seeing it more happening more and more often on these homesteading pages. And I, I, I just, it bothers me big time. So, for all you big influencers out there that are taking the time to be nice to us smaller ones and to encourage us, I say thank you so much. We, you, we really appreciate you. You're the reason we probably are still doing what we're doing. <laughs> for everyone that is smaller like I am and still trying to figure out their what they're doing hang in there we can encourage each other and a whole lot of people there's a whole lot of good people in our community that are here for us so um, don't let the one naysayer get you down just ignore it and move on you know I, if I believed in karma I would say let karma handle it but I don't believe in karma so huh? anyway that's all I want to say for the day. Linda's rants. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. I got a coughing. <clears throat> so, I was going to go home and show you the box I got from Josh from the City Stead. But I think I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Make sure you come back and check out um, tomorrow's vlog. Alright, I'm going to finish my lunch. And I will see you guys next time.